Now we also will be joined by Mr. Vivek Chand Sagal to talk about Madarsan Sumi and uh, what has led uh, Madarsan Sumi to announce this mega restructuring uh, of the organization plans and the organization structure. Mr. Vivek Chand Sagal now joins us. Mr. Sagal, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Always a joy to connect with you. What has prompted uh, you and your board to come out with a different uh, reorganized structure? What was the thinking behind this move? I think, uh, uh, first of all, uh, it, it has uh, been a long journey. You know, we started somewhere around 2012, January. The board constituted the Committee for Restructuring. And because it's a very complex kind of a situation and multiple needs of different stakeholders, so it was always a challenge. Uh, about four years ago, we had almost come to a solution, but uh, then the government changed the laws and uh, that particular thing had to be uh, again written off. Uh, in January, uh, we thought it was uh, convenient to uh, come in because the circumstances were such that uh, we could actually achieve almost 90% of what the stakeholders wanted. This includes Sumitomo, who's our teacher and our collaborator. They wanted that their focus only be on the domestic wiring harness business for which this joint venture was set up 37 years ago. And then we have a lot of uh, shareholders who were uh, worried about minority interest and this and that and this cross holding and all that particular thing. So how do we align all of them together? So the board mandated uh, uh, the bankers and the lawyers and the advisors, and they could then come up with a solution uh, which they did uh, as of yesterday. They made the presentations, which I think is uh, is a is, is a is a solution for many of the stakeholders. Uh, I think uh, by this particular thing, Sumitomo Sa achieves what he wants. Uh, we all uh, take care of all the uh, concerns of uh, whatever shareholders we've listened to in the last eight, eight years, and then we have brought together in Samil all of this including the wiring harness portion, ownership also comes to Samuel. So that's a very uh, uh, unique uh, way of uh, putting everything together for the shareholders in Madison, in Samuel. The Samuel means new, new Madison Sumi, new Madison Sumi. I'm just going to mark the stock price of uh, Madison Sumi right now. 7% down, it is falling on uh, very strong volumes. So what is in for shareholders uh, here, Mr. Uh, Segal? How do you see this creating value for the long term in terms of returns and how do you think that this is going to be an EPA secretive move? So, uh, you know, the uh, uh, group is uh, having a very aggressive uh, target for the next five year plan. And with this vehicle, we are very, very uh, competent and free to take those particular challenges and uh, grow uh, the top line where we want to. While the domestic wiring harness business or Sumitomo Sun's uh, business uh, remains focused in India, and it's only related to servicing the customers in India. The uh, possibilities over there are huge as well, but globally, this particular company, the new Mother Sun Sumi, which will be uh, 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 formed once all the approvals and all these things are done, would then be absolutely free. It can go ahead and do whatever they want to achieve whichever customer they want to uh, uh, take care of. Is Everything is possible for them. So I think it, it serves a huge uh, opportunity for all the shareholders in Madhusan Sumi, the new Madhusan Sumi, uh, to, to really experience uh, the ride, as we call it. Post the demerger as well, what will be the roadmap then for MSSL and its key businesses? So domestic one, you know, there is need for tremendous amount of uh, uh, focus on the new kind of vehicles that are coming, the hybrid vehicles, the electric vehicles, whatever uh, path the customer is going to choose. So very specialized uh, components, specialized wires and everything have to be done. So this particular company will be focusing on that and taking care of the immense growth which is going to come in the uh, domestic wiring, uh, domestic uh, uh, customers' uh, 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 demands. So I think uh, uh, the uh, 
the domestic wiring harness business uh, will do very well because they will take care and on a focused manner exactly what the Indian needs of the car makers is. Okay. Okay. And uh, does the move help you in any way to pursue or streamline your m and strategy? Um, is it, for example, likely to give you more freedom in buying assets going forward? So I think, you know, what is very important is a lot of people think that if the domestic wiring harness business goes out of the new Samil or the new mother Sumi, then they will have a, 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 a dearth of what will be happening in India. How do you catch the growth in India? So actually, Samil has brought in all its joint ventures, incubations, which we have done for the past 10, 12 years, were very, very profitable and brought that into uh, the new mother Sumi. So our new target will be 3CX10, which means no country, no com component, no customer, more than 10% of our turnover. And that means India has a huge uh, uh, opportunity to play. Uh, we will be, we are bringing in our lighting joint venture. We are bringing in Fritz Meyer, which is into cabins and things like that. We are uh, bringing in Mind, which is our software backbone, uh, which we're bringing that also into, into the new muscle. So a lot of new exciting companies which we have incubated over the past 10, 12 years also come into the Indian side. Globally, the sky is the limit, really. Uh, the kind of businesses that we are bringing in, also if you look at it in the presentation, we've shown that the global market is around 200 billion uh, US for that. So the ability to then take over companies which are available in these particular fields outside India is that much more, uh, 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 makes us that much more powerful because we have already got 10, 12 years of experience in that particular businesses. So I think that's very, very exciting for both the companies. Right. Really. Mr. Segal, you've stated that the merger of Samil now aligns with the pursuits of inorganic growth opportunities. Any strategy laid out when it comes to future acquisitions post the demerger now within the $200 billion plus opportunity size that you've already identified for yourself? Yeah, and I'm just giving you the uh, the four or five uh, companies that we are bringing in. If I have to look at the global market of that, that alone is 200 billion. Mm. So the possibilities are endless because you know Mother Sun is always increasing the content per car. So uh, that, the opportunity is even bigger. But I think what is important for us to understand is that if you go back to 2008-9, you know, when we took over a company called uh, SMR, which is now known as SMR, that particular business was uh, negative in uh, this thing, uh, your uh, EBITDA and all that, and was only a, a business of about, uh, the Indian joint venture was less than 10 crores or rupees or 20 crores or rupees. We took over a company of 500 million because you know we had done seven, eight years of work in that particular joint venture. Today, that company is about 1.6, 1.7 billion euros. So, that is the kind of uh, uh, the C and we've repeated that in many instances. So that is the kind of thing opportunity that we bring to the new company. So I think uh, the possibilities are endless. Madison never has a strategy. We have a great response time. That is the difference between us and the other people who uh, go for acquisitions. Madison does not strategize because strategy means then you will say no or you will say yes to many many of the opportunities in Madison, we just follow the customer the customer is telling us go this way we just go blindly and then the customer is there to support us for that right so mr segal will you continue to look at international opportunities in wiring a harness uh, business if any that you've identified uh, no clash with subitomo uh, in the new scenario Look, uh, PKC and uh, uh, MWSI, the American uh, uh, company that we acquired, are both in wiring harness. So there is no conflict at all. And domestic wiring harness is only for India. Okay, for the domestic business, uh, what's the opportunity seen on the back of government-powered initiatives uh, like Make in India, Atman Nirbhar Bharat uh, as well? You already have the scale, the technology that's required to contribute uh, to the mission of self-reliance. Do you see this as an opportunity to take a bigger leap? You know, uh, uh, thank you for asking this question because this actually will tell you how forward-looking uh, Mother Sun is. You know, we have 270 plus facilities 
in 41 countries. There is no better example of globally local uh, than Madhusan, I think. You know, we, if today we are exporting something from India and we feel that the percentage of exports has exceeded a particular uh, cutoff ratio, we will close the plant in India and shift it to wherever we have to go. Or we will continue the plant here, whatever the thing is, whatever the customer wants. But we don't believe in imports and exports because it is unnatural to believe that only one or two countries are going to be the global uh, uh, you know, manufacturing plants in the world. So we have been vindicated. The, the, the key thing that Madhusan believes, local management, local company, local place. So we are truly uh, uh, focusing on that. And uh, we've been doing it for the past uh, 16 years now. So trust me, uh, we are uh, very happy with this particular trend because we could identify this long ago. So even from, we have a lot of plants in China, but we don't export even $1 worth from China. It's all for local consumption. India, all for local consumption. Same in Europe, same in America, same in Mexico, etc. Mexico may be some example because we've taken over companies uh, before us. So it's absolutely our uh, uh, line of thought and we believe very strongly in that. Thank you so much for joining us uh, and taking us through all of the implications, outlook and plans at Madison Sumi. Great speaking with you this morning.